Meet Emily, aka Confidence Queen, co-founder of Rock Your Worth and published author. Meet Prana, a gifted psychic medium and spiritual healer. Meet Jenny, a no-nonsense actress turned hardcore producer and director in Hollywood. Meet Sharina, the elite model who has graced the pages of Vogue, Elle, and Glamour magazines. This is Good Vibrations, your quick guide to health, wellness, home, love, healing, and more. The Good, good vibrations. vibrations. Okay. The Good Vibrations. Okay. All right. Welcome, everybody. I'm going to check it out on my phone really quick. I just want to see if we can get it because I do want to get like some decent audio for us. Can you um, not hear I'll be us? Can you hear I me? I can hear you. Yeah, Clearly? no, I'm just saying like when we edit, because for me, I'm this is like my production side of things. I just want it to be like mm -hmm. the speaker from your phone. How was that? How was that? I just stacked my yoga blocks. Is that better? I think you are. Yeah, oh, that's, that's, that's better. Can you tilt you it look down beautiful. a little? beautiful. Look Can you tilt down it down so it's not so much uh, like, like instead of like that. I, we get like that there. Uh, I don't, you know, it's not having that. What if you put a book behind it? So it's what like if you sit, sit on there, a book? There, there, <laughs> there are pillow. yoga blocks. What if you sit on yoga a pillow? <laughs> yeah, those yeah, are yoga yeah, blocks. Like, can you sit on some books? And what if you sit on a pillow? I'm, right. I'm on a like, pillow. I'm actually on another a pillow. pillow. That's going to put me higher. You said I look like I'm up above. I know, but I need you to be like framed a little bit higher. Because right now, this is what it looks like, Prana. Prana. What? Right? This or this. This. Get on the pillow. I'm doing it. That's better. You're like a little more. Yeah, that's better. You're a little. No, that's just you talking, Jenny. That is not better. No, it's better. It went from this. Just look. It went from like <laughs> this. No, I'm. I'm not looking. I'm just. Wait, 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 wait. Prana, Prana. It went from like. No, no. <laughs> this to to this. At least we. <laughs> I thought it went no. from like this. <laughs> it was like this. Okay, like... we're not going. We're, we're not going to make this about me. We're not going to make this about me. What no, I think you. I wait, think wait, you. It was like this. beautiful. <laughs> Jen, get away. Get away. <laughs> Let's get this show. Hey, how about oh, where's Emily? Anna's like, I. Where is Emily? <laughs> That's the third eye. That's the third eye. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, oh. <laughs> this is way better. This is going to be so much fun. I know. This is going to be amazing. We, but we, we can't do it without Emily. Well, we can't. I don't know where she went. I know. Look, we have Cameron Diaz, Lucy Liu. Where the hell is she doing? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> True. Yeah, and we got Ch -ch 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 Charlie. <laughs> we should have you go back to your, your like, God thing. Yeah. Like. <laughs> no, actually, he should he should go back to the thumbnail or the one where you're like you're hot, or you're you're all the way up. Where is she? Wait, it's I'm Prana. <laughs> oh whatever. <laughs> okay, you guys have just started your own show. That's what's going on with that. That's what's going on right there. Uh, I can't breathe. <laughs> this is the reason why you can't introduce people to each other. You know where she went. Ah. Okay, good. Hi. You made it. What happened? She's yes, sideways. sideways. <laughs> <laughs> now we can talk about somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Look her face. She's, she's, Emily, what happened? I don't know. It kicked me out. It's like you're not invited. Why are so, you sideways? So, so, and then it and it brought so Emily, you in sideways. So Emily, right. Emily, somebody <laughs> asked her, is, is she That's still funny. laying down from when she got kicked out? Yeah, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, she get did. up, Emily. Emily, you're gonna be fine. Wait, yeah, no, I'm why? <laughs> why are you sideways? 
but y'all are y'all are now all get you're you I don't know why are like you this <laughs> can you Wait, can you turn which your phone, your phone? Your phone? Why yeah. Are you yeah there we what? go did you lock your screen I'm like yelling Emily? I think I'm yelling I don't lock your so, screen but why is it making you? Oh, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> it's supposed One to be. Time. It's supposed to be a long ways, right? No, 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 Turn. no. Your phone's vertical. Turn. Yeah, yeah. You, oh, there, there we go. go. That's it. That's it. That's you it. got That's it. it. <laughs> okay. Well, everyone's vertical on mine. Like we're all. I'm looking at you guys, and everyone is like this. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Great. it as long as it. If you can hear me, if you can hear me. I will do my best not to like slowly be like this through the recording, <laughs> but if you can hear me, everyone's sideways. <laughs> I have no idea. Whatever technical <laughs> things. Is it good? I mean, it's not what I want, but it's it's fine because you're upwards and you can see it. I mean, that looks better. Right there is good. Okay, there. How what? did you do that? I'm literally, my hand is holding this. <laughs> But you can't sit it down like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, buddy. I think I can. I seriously <laughs> never had this happen. I've used Zoom like thirty times this week. And now, do you want us? Um, it works though. Whatever you're doing right now. Whatever you're working. doing is actually yeah. Lady, okay. she's holding it, and it's not going to be beneficial to a shoulder. No, muscle. she's setting. She's setting it up, but she's she's getting a little work at it. <laughs> How's this? Now halfway through. That's perfect. I, I can see every. <laughs> Her perfect. muscle here is going to be bigger than this one. She's going to walk around. Like at the end of the show, she just has traps. Like she's like, <laughs> look at my gun, my gun. <laughs> just one. Just one. Just <laughs> my strong shoulder. One. Lean on on me when you're not strong and i'll be there. <laughs> oh my god well that is good i gotta tell you obviously things are going a little bit sideways uh in the world so that's the universe's way of, of communicating with us this is okay, thank you thank you for my mom. so cute what i heard so much about prana yeah this is prana. oh wow Aww. how you doing mason Hi. I can't wait to meet you. He can't wait to meet you. Hey guys, what's up? I am Jenny Shakeshaft, and you are officially watching our first Monument broadcast for the Coronavirus Relief Program. And we are here for a new show called Good Vibrations. I am actually a producer out here in Los Angeles and the creator and founder of Monument. And I also, you guys might know me as The Voice, from our Wake Up Manifestos, uh, the best part of your day, if you guys download those and listen to our audio production, you can always tune into that as well. All right, all right, how's it going guys? Peace, love, and light. My name is Prana Star. I am a spiritual medium and you can also catch me on the Astro Fix, which is also a show with Monument Productions. Yeah. I'm Emily Roberts, the guidance girl, aka confidence and crystal queen, <laughs> here to give you guidance on all the topics that you have questions on and help you feel like your best self, even during these difficult times. Hey guys, I'm Sharon from I Am Sharon Love. I am a model and entrepreneur. I am currently signed with Elite Model Management and... I don't want to sound conceited, but I've, I have a pretty good resume. So I just wanted to introduce myself and I can't wait to walk this journey with you guys. Yes. So we all got together and decided to create an incredible show, kind of bringing together, of course, our hosts and some brand new hosts to the show, Emily and um, Shireen, or Sharon or Shireen, um, who are going to be premiering their new show with us soon once we get out of quarantine <laughs> yes um, and that is all to come but in the meantime we wanted to start you guys off with sort of how we all met and came together and our connection and and leave that for you all because this is um such an interesting time for us so i actually started i got um a message from a friend and it was for an abundance program kind of initiative that you could participate in and 
I joined and a few days in, I loved it. And I ended up sharing it with Prana. Prana and I worked together um, on a number of shows. And so Prana introduced me, of course, to these lovely ladies. And we, I ended up starting the 21 Days of Abundance Challenge, which is by Deepak Shaf. Is it Deepak Chopra? Am I yeah. his name right? Chopra. 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 Deepak yeah. Chopra. And, yeah. And he's, I mean, he just did an excellent job with this. And it was, it was, for me, it was a, um, a commitment for sure. Right. Like you did it. And then the first day was fun. And like day two was like, cool. It was still cool. 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 And then day like seven. Yes. You better Absolutely. stay committed to this 21 day challenge. So what did you, you guys better get your butt on the ground and <laughs> make the, yeah, make the time for it. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Like show up. And I, the one thing I'll tell you guys that I thought was most interesting about it was, um, it asked you to write with your non-dominant hand. So a lot of the missions and things that we did daily, uh, you'd be writing with your other hand. And I, I ended up thinking to myself, like, if anyone found my writing, they might think oh, yeah. <laughs> that I was like a two-year-old, just with like a crayon. <laughs> but it helps imprint into your brain a little bit of like, you know. I do. Yeah, did you? I mean, mine was bad. Like it was, I, you, no one, I don't even think you could read it. Oh, mine's really bad. It looked like a... No, four-year-olds definitely have better handwriting than me. <laughs> right. They're better, hand. right. Is anyone but I accept it. I accept it. I'm not trying to do much of that, yeah. <laughs> I, tr I tried and, yeah, no. Are you ambidextrous, Trina, or no? I'm not, but when I was writing with my left hand, and I'm, I'm not even going to lie because at the times I had to write with my right hand yeah. because I had my baby be in my real. left hand. <laughs> so I'm going to oh, be I real, did that but too. when I, did I that was... Too writing with my left hand I realized what I was channeling it was a different energy I was channeling and it was a different frequency I was going into like with my spirit guides so I was like and it, I'm you know when I usually do my meditation or I do my journaling and I do it with my dominant hand I've realized when you do it with your opposite hand that you are hitting a different frequency because totally. you have to for like, me I hit the frequency of uh pain I was like no my hand's cramping up so I had a different experience with that but I'll tell you what I had to slow down and be mindful and I was like okay this is painful temporarily and you can get through it and then there were some where I was like I'm gonna forgive myself and just go right-handed so my frequency was not the same however it's interesting that we all had different reactions to it I think yeah. it, you know it does yeah. help you get more mindful of what you're doing and it and sometimes for me, when I'm journaling, I, when I write with my <clears throat> dominant hand, it comes out, but I'm just not as aware of it until I can like reread it, right? If that makes sense. So this was a little bit more mindful for me, for sure. Painful, mindful, both, both, both can be true. Prana, what about you? Absolutely. I feel like you would do, I feel like Prana would be able to write with his toe if he wanted to. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm going to take that as a compliment. Actually, some of the things that was in the 21 <laughs> day abundance, I was already doing and when it came to the handwriting uh of course it presented itself as a challenge to me because I'm, I'm right-handed so switching to the left but I was already moving towards that anyway because I had started brushing my teeth with my left hand and carrying things with my left hand uh to make it as strong mm -hmm. so I had been doing this for quite some time as a matter of fact I went back to my right hand and my white right hand was weaker so I had to start back using my right hand to adjust so the writing was good for me and being that I was already kind of doing it, like I said I had switched to brushing my teeth with my left hand it was smooth but it was not mm -hmm. as one would say something that's mastered mm -hmm. and it was a lot of other things in the 21 day abundance yeah. um, that I was already doing as well so it was perfect timing for me I liked it loved it and I think other people should try things that's challenging as well I wanted, I think I, I have my journal, like, from when I started, I just wanted to show you guys a funny, um, <clears throat> it's actually not as bad as I thought, honestly. I mean, it's kind of like a child wrote this. Um, I don't know, can you, like, no, you can't really see, can you? Like, I mean, okay. yours no, you can't, you, you can't, mine's mine looks blown out. Is. Mine actually, it's not as horrible well, as I thought, but yours just scribbles. <laughs> mine's current. My, my yeah, mine's currently in New York City, which I will not be. I'm not there right now, Emily. 
Emily's there. Yeah, on the so Sharina's normally based in New York. You guys are on the East Coast. Yeah. Uh, Atlanta, I, you're, you're on the East Coast I'm in the as well. South. Yeah, I'm in Atlanta. I'm and in the then, South. Yeah, where are you? I'll send right you guys now. a screenshot of it they, or a oh. picture of it. I am currently in Louisiana. Right <laughs> How do you yeah. feel about that? <laughs> I love it. I love yeah. I love the country. I love being I'm, in I'm, nature. I'm jealous. I miss my family's in Austin, in Texas. So I'm like, yeah. I'm here. I just saw a crack, a crock, a crack, a crocodile today. Oh my God. A crocodile, some mockingbirds, some bluebirds. Yeah. Wow. I'm nature. like immersed in nature right now. It's kind of great. That's I saw the place to be. Yeah. So how did you guys, um, for the takeaway from the abundance challenge, like what do you think was the biggest takeaway for you that walking into it and then walking out of it, what that changed and how it was helpful? Um, well, we, we started this right before everything changed, right? Before yes, everything was shut down in New York, right? Like, yes, and before our, our, all of our lives were like kind of thrown upside down. So it was really interesting is having, make, making time and being able to like, I was, I do a daily meditation to begin with like each day. Um, but that was like an additive. And during this time, like this kind of crazy time, there's part of my ego or my mind that was like, oh, you don't have time for it, but I did it. And I'll tell you, even though we were all going through such a shift and a lot of negative emotions, that helped me really focus on the positives. It helped me attract, I think, some more positive energy or be more aware of the positive energy that was in my life. Um, so I didn't feel the lack that I think a lot of other people were feeling at that time. I, that was my takeaway from it. And also, I found some money in my house. All right. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Sounds like we should uh, and we created Sound and like we, we created should. this. We were able to create this. Even with all the stuff that happened, we were mm -hmm. able to create coming together abundant in relationships. We've we've been getting close to other people in our lives because, you know, what a shift in our mindset we've had to make. And I think that having that daily meditation practice um with this twenty way twenty one day abundance um was just it was like the what's the word I'm looking for? The layer that I needed so I didn't lose my mind during this time. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. What was yours, Sharina? For me, it gave me the ability to have time for myself. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. just like you guys said, this all happened literally right before COVID 19. We were like shut down everything. We were in the midst of. It was just, I think it was just surfacing at the time when we started. So it wasn't like, you know, by the time we ended, everything was like, okay, things started to shut down. It's different, right? Like I, Mason had to be taken out of school. So it, it gave me the opportunity to like, just have that moment to myself. Like, I don't know if it's the same for you yeah. guys, but for me, I would do my, my meditation in the shower or bath. I'd be like, that's what I listened to when I was in there. And that was my moment for myself. I have two children. So, and one that is, I'm like her life source. So I breastfeed her and she's currently eight months. And then my son yeah. who is eight years old. So there's two whole different dynamics. So to trying to balance that and also my own, like my work life, which is modeling and my entrepreneur like business. And then my, my own, you know, my relationship, because I am currently yeah. engaged. All of that together, just, it made me realize that I don't take enough time for me. Yeah. Yeah. And abundance, even though I'm, I'm surrounded with all this like beautiful abundance, a big part of why I didn't see the abundance that was around me because I didn't take enough time to appreciate myself. Mm -hmm. And I was living for everybody else without yeah, it's like it, focusing on myself. And the self-care part was, was mm -hmm. what made me realize how powerful how powerful it is to really even just have those 30 minutes to yourself a day right. just that alone time for yourself i i can totally relate to what you're saying even though i'm not a mom of children 
I'm just dogs, but like even with my, so when I was at work, if I didn't do it in the morning, like you found, I love that you did it in the shower. Sometimes I have to shut my door in the bathroom so the dogs would leave me alone. Or when I was in my office, like I'd be, have my door shut and I would do it because I would show up differently for the people in my life after that meditation. I'd be a little bit more grounded. I'd be a little bit more um, in flow. I think you can probably relate to that too. And plus it's like, yeah, I needed that just to be away from the screen, away from any sort of distraction. So it's like what you're saying is so valid, I think, for so many people because we often don't take enough time to be with our thoughts and be with our, our spirits. You know, we just, we don't. But that was an opportunity for you to do that even during this chaotic time. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like my in tune was just, I never, it's, it's hard to explain. I, the prana knows me and like my evolution. Cause actually like I came into this, my spiritual world and my spiritual journey after I initially met prana via phone call for the first time. So prana was, uh, is the reason I am currently here right now besides myself. Um, oh. So I appreciate my best friend over there, bestie. Aww. Nudge, hey. nudge. Hey. But, um, <laughs> so <it's getting> nudge. <laughs> but um, I, nudge. I feel like you, when you walk into this world and you want to be this enlightened person to spread your light into the world, sometimes you you get so in this astral world inside of yourself where you're always thinking like in a spiritual way where you don't come down and see like the reality of like world what's around you so it's like for my my children it's like I'm always in trying to be in this positive place in my mind and like you know going into like this fairy la la land in my head where this abundance challenge actually brought me back into reality a lot and it made me realize like how much I can drift into a different space all day long and this kind of grounded me and brought me back down to like, no, actually, you know, there's still this place here that you need to be in. You can't be like always in this manifesting la la world because you have to be present also to appreciate all those manifesting abundance into your life. So that's what it basically taught me is all that the power of actually being here and experiencing life. Prana, what about you? Nice, nice. For me, uh, what did I take away from it? Uh, commitment, commitment to self. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I for sure don't get enough time for myself. Um, and with that being said, that time was an excuse for me to kind of sort of block everybody out, if you would, um, and take the time to myself and reset on a daily basis and on the other hand of commitment staying involved in this instead of doing my own thing because I usually work alone mm -hmm. so to be involved in something that was to this extent so in depth it, it was it was also me learning how to commit to something on the outside of what I do on a daily basis so I liked it and I appreciate it. I felt like one of the um, the biggest things for me, I don't, sorry, the biggest things for me after I left it, like, I don't know if you guys can sort of see behind me, but I have all of my mirrors. So every day that we did um, the abundance thing, I would write the takeaway statement or the I am statement, because I love that for yeah. Wake Up Manifestos. Like, when yeah. I write, when I sit down to write those and, you know, I was talking to my mom about this. She's like, well, where do you get the inspiration to write the, you know, the wake up manifestos? And, and just to lead off on that, I often do them when I'm called to do them or to called to write them. And I'll sit down and think to myself, okay, it's time. Yeah. I need to write this. But yeah, then you write them on a little post-it. And then when I was a kid and growing up, I would always I write them here. Yeah like you're beautiful or I would write you're amazing mm -hmm. and start just just looking in the mirror and having that you know ring back to you and there wasn't a way for me to give that to people and so that was why I actually created the um, wake up manifestos is because I wanted to allow people 
the same tools that I was using, which was like, hey, wake up and say something incredible about your life or your day or what you're thankful for. Mm -hmm. um, and so th through this challenge, I found it really fun because there was these statements and you can see behind me, <laughs> they're still up. Yeah. They're all over my mirrors. I mean, because we had 21 Love days that. of it. So I would just write it everywhere. It's and the so power of intention, you know? Yeah. What? It's because it's, you see, it's the thing with the left hand versus, oh, little monkey. The thing with your left hand versus your right hand or your dominant hand, et cetera, when you're, um, you're practicing a new way of integrating and learning things and imprinting that just like muscle memory you go to the gym every day you work out you know you learn how to um gain strength from that if you go to in anything that we do you learn by doing art is like excellence is the form of habit right as they say so you just continue to do it and i think for abundance yeah but the brain changes too the more you practice it right and the more you do it, you're like, okay, cool. So I'll give you an example. I, I wanted to learn, last year I started doing something, actually, no, let's say two years ago, I started doing a promise to myself where I, I did something new right. every year. Like I was like, I'm gonna become an expert at this, okay? So I chose to become an expert at poaching eggs. I don't know why, it was like one of uh -huh. the hardest things in my brain to do. And I'm like, I wanna learn how to do that. It's super cool. hard to do, yeah. <laughs> I tried it. I tried the swirly thing. I tried the vinegar. I like dropped it in the side. I did it all. And I actually got to a point where I navigated the most perfect poached egg you've ever had in your life. And it just took time and practice, you know, and several failed eggs. Now, Prana wow. and others, I know some of you are vegans, but, but for those of you that aren't, they're very good. You can bring that ding -ling. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the other thing that you're saying about intention though, like setting those intentions and you know, that's one of the reasons I started Rock Your Worth. Mm -hmm. Can I? But also I you guys know this is, I, I changed, I changed crystals, you guys. I see that. No, I got some. Yeah, I, got some I can, I right can now. mando for what that. What kind of crystal is sure. This is the selenite rod. Selenite is a very grounding, calming, and it's a like, wand. So it just helps you get all the good vibrations. Um, yes. get it. Also, uh, very grounding and soothing. It doesn't, it's a form of gypsum. So it doesn't, it doesn't hold heat. So like a lot of times I'll have clients who are holding onto this when they're starting to have anxiety or panic and it really grounds their nervous system. Plus it cleanses any other crystal. Absolutely. So you just can't get it cleanses wet. Cleanses the crystals and charges the crystals. It helps me. I hope it helps you. I've got, I've yeah. got, oh, yeah. Wee. Absolutely. We'll take it. I have this. And it also right lights now. up all of the chakras. What is it called again? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I have this larger one, selenite. And so okay. selenite, yeah, you're right. It helps with all the chakras. Like I'll put it under my, um, I'll put my feet on it or I'll put it on my, my body sometimes just for good vibes. Nice grounding. Thing. But yeah, I was going to say it was that, um, in, but in, when you write an intention, when you have one and you see it over and over again, it, you really do ch change in front of you. are gonna probably have a lot to say about this too. Your subconscious. So if you're like, I'm attracting abundance, I'm grateful for, I'm attracting all these things. Your brain, even though you're consciously not thinking about it, it changes and you start to bring more of it into your life. You start to like have those conversations with the right people at the right time. You start to believe in yourself mm -hmm. a little bit more to attract those things. And so, uh, it, it really is all about intention, all about having a commitment to the practice, like you said, and being able to believe that there's more for yourself, I think. And that's one of the things that, like I said, even though this was during this whole COVID situation, there was not one time, I mean, there's maybe a couple of times in my mind, but not like it used to be where I was like, oh, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm not that afraid. I'm not feeling that afraid about losing something like a financial commitment or, I wasn't, I wasn't, didn't go there. My brain didn't go there. So there's power there. I used to totally trip, trip up about that stuff. Obviously you agree. Clearly you agree. <laughs> and give me one second. My love no of my life came in and just said, uh, here. And I said, uh, currently in the middle of something right now. So no, you're fine. Second, I'll be you're right hungry. Back. No, that's I'll be fine. Right back. I'm gonna go give. Just her turn back your. She's... Put stop your video. Just push stop video. It should be okay. something you can stop it, and then we'll let you back in. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so um, 
Emily, you were saying, do you guys want to wait until she comes back in? Let's just wait. Or we can keep going. Well, Bronda can maybe uh, piggyback on what I was saying. Well, I liked, well, I wanted to hear more about, you were kind of talking about um, Guidance Girl and Rock Your Worth and where that came from. Because I was talking about wake up manifestos and how oh. I started that and stuff. And then you were like, yeah, I started Rock Your Worth. And you were telling us a little bit about the crystals. Well, Oops, shit. That, sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. So I started um, this company because as a therapist and as some, in my own life, intention, um, having a spiritual practice and having a visual reminder of what it means has mm -hmm. transformed the way that I live. Um, mm -hmm. I moved to New York. I was able to uh, build a career. I was able to get, find my partner and attract abundance there. So th th these things work for me. So as I started writing things down and really believing in them and meditating on them, it, even though in those moments where I was feeling really down or maybe feeling really challenged, somehow I still was able to kind of turn my mind to the abundant mindset or turn it towards something more positive. And that's because I had intentions written down. I believed in them and they weren't ones that I didn't believe in. They were ones that I created based on how I wanted to feel and what I was hoping to attract. And I was feeling, um, you know, that higher level energy because it's possible. It's possible for all of us. So writing it down, seeing it and, and repeating it out loud often, I would say those mantras that we did in the meditation throughout the day and I'd say them out loud. That helped me remember them. So before you know, I would leave for the day, I would look at it again, say it out loud. And it changes the way your brain works. It changes it on a subconscious and conscious level. Are you guys yeah, talking about manifesting manifesting things into your life? How you Wait, yeah, we're things? talking about intention. Intention yeah, we, setting. With the like, I was kind of, we were discussing like the, the statements from the abundance challenge of kind of writing them out, the I am statements, the rock your worth of like just physical reminders, mental reminders, statements that we make to ourselves about retraining the way that we think. The brain. You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's like for every negative thought you say three positive things to help retrain your brain to like let go of those negative things that mm -hmm. you for me I didn't realize like before I you know going through on that journey it's like I didn't realize how many things or how many thoughts came into my mind that were actually mm -hmm. not positive because right. right. we have thousands and thousands of thoughts that come into our mind every day and to filter them out and actually have them be like positive thoughts those things it, it could get draining on you because it's a workout it's a mental workout yeah. for you and you like growing up when you're not taught to like it's not that I wasn't taught to be a positive person I was just taught in the way oh. my my parents were taught to be their people you know so growing up that way and like learning now this it's to set like learning to set your intentions is a it's so powerful i have on my altar it's like a visual yeah. it's a very like everything's like visual and i've kind of built it up into the walls so i have it like i don't have my altar here i have an on-the-go altar which is just a bunch of crystals and my candle yes you do yes but uh -huh. I, <laughs> yeah. at home i have my i'm just gonna build the picture out for you so i have like my altar and then i have my pyramid where all my other crystals live with my candles and then it all kind of shoots up and I have pictures and everything everywhere onto the walls. And I think my husband is just like an angel because I've just taken over the whole <laughs> wall basically. That's amazing. Like, He's like, whatever you, you give off the good vibes I am sharing love, um, <laughs> focus goals. And I'm like, oh, I love that. Like, you know, and when you really like decorate it and you paint it and you do all these things and you put your energy into like creating like this beautiful image that you want to look at every day with your words it's mm -hmm. very powerful because i basically mm -hmm. said i what i did was i created a prayer for myself and for my ancestors and for the people that i want to hear that i want to live this new life so i created a new like a, a prayer that i painted into like letters and words and put it onto my wall and then i put pictures of what i actually want to manifest into my life whether it be a home more family time everything like literally the focus goals i wrote family together 
I've had my family together for the past 24 seven since this COVID-19. <laughs> and I was like, holy moly. The universe heard you. Moly. Uh, then you attracted Hold more on. family. And more family and more And family. you got yes. it in abundance, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. And like, absolutely. Yeah. Did you guys, I'm like, when we did part of the challenge and it asked you to, to create like a painting or draw or like there was a, a yeah. stage of the challenge where you had to do something and I actually painted like this entire thing but it was supposed to symbolize abundance for you what did you guys do I drew myself with <laughs> the building that I want to buy oh I love and that. currency just <laughs> <laughs> That is amazing. <laughs> Literally, you drew it. I, I, you, you drew hold it. on. Yeah, let me go. That's amazing. Actually, I, do you I have, have it? it? I do. Oh my it. god! I I'll have to show. I'll show you guys mine, but I'm like slightly embarrassed. Emily Prana, what did you guys do? Go ahead, Prana, go ahead. Uh, I didn't know that we weren't supposed to use our left hand, so it looked really funny. And then I started drawing. <laughs> I wrote out a. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it full on pain pain and then I was like wait I'll try it both ways and I gave myself that opportunity and I wound up drawing checks and I told Jenny this I don't know if I told you guys as I was like the next day I found two checks one was a check I wrote for me and my business partner which is a big check um that we wrote in 2017 for a oh my god I love that Adorable. And the other was a check that I actually was able to cash because it was a residual. It was a check from my my that I lost from my um, publisher for my book residuals, and I found it wow. after that exercise, like the next day. And I was like, "Oh, okay, wow. this is beautiful, beautiful." I am and not it, an it artist, too. so I am not an artist, and I literally okay. So the abundance, most of the abundance challenge, I kept in my good vibration. Um, yeah Longer. like so i've been trying nice. to keep up to date with this stuff but literally let me see your drawing i just thought like, <laughs> hold on i knew it when you said it i was like she did a stick figure in that hold on let me see <laughs> oh. i did that's what i had to do too i love it nice. yeah. oh my god it's, there. That's all that it's, it's in I different kinds that. of currency so we have dollars oh. and euros that so is yeah. amazing it's there. Okay, wait, I'll oh, show you guys mine, so though. I'm slightly embarrassed. Mine, I painted and- I even put eyelashes on myself, okay? Yeah. And a skirt, and I, I never like wear that. skirts. Is it weird, so though, that when you said that it- I was manifesting that I would channel my feminine side, huh? Of when you said you drew it, I'm not kidding. I visualized your drawing, and I was like, there's a stick figure in her drawing. Like, I feel it. There's her. <laughs> But wait, okay. Hey, so when you're <laughs> when you're breastfeeding a baby and you gotta deal with it, I'm I love like, it. I don't I, know why. <laughs> but in my mind, it I was like it. a Picasso, okay? In my it's mind. <laughs> it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Hey, okay, I'm gonna, Picasso. I'm gonna show Thank you guys mine you. and then we're we're landing with Prana's, but mine I painted, I used green and I actually there's money all behind the can all behind the paint. So I used like real money, coins and everything and Hold on one second. How many how many dollars did she use? I'd be willing to. No, I didn't put that <laughs> many dollars. Do not make this. Was I don't like it. Wait. And of course, it says queen. Hold on, Casey. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I don't know if you cute. can read it. It's yeah, like that's, so that's not. Nice. It's that's fun. It was very amazing. It's it awesome. Is. It's my, but I, it was actually like just therapeutic to paint and do something that had no it like is. all I was thinking. Can okay, you hold hold it back up right quick? Okay. <laughs> there. So the 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 Q and Queen actually looks like a six as well. Yeah, it does. It, mm -hmm. it looks like the the yin yang symbol. Uh, <laughs> you know, where the fishes go both ways. But that six, mm -hmm. the six represents Jupiter, which is planets of yeah. abundance and finances. And ironically, we are in Jupiter this week. So hey. Look at the quantum so, fixes of that. Quantum, huh? Yeah, that's that's <laughs> nice. That's awesome. What did Me, you do, Prana? Um, I for us, I more so visualize mine. So okay. you're not gonna get any messy paintings or paintings that I'm embarrassed to show. I just visualize <laughs> a 
bunch of money bags, you know. And that was I'm that. back to the courts. Oh, good. Beautiful. That was how we've moved. Wow, we've moved crystal. Beautiful. Good. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. it'll that's attract beautiful. more. Well, let's amplify it, guys. Okay, good. Yeah. Let's, yeah. yeah. Let's go. I like it. Yes. I got my amethyst. So you visualized a bunch of money. Can I ask you guys, when you right. think of abundance, do you think money immediately? Is money associated with abundance for you? Me, I think of freedom. I did. Yeah, I do too. First, but going through the challenge, I realized how wrong I was of abundance. Because abundance to me now is everything that surrounds me. It's a roof over my head. It's being able to mm -hmm. even have like internet and being able to talk mm -hmm. to you now. Yeah. It's time with my family and I, honestly like the whole world has been put on pause right now financially and I think the world is now realizing yeah. that money doesn't fucking matter sorry right my okay. words but money does not play a factor in life right now because we just have to make it through this time Wait, and it's so making interesting it through this time I feel like people have just like kind of come mm -hmm. together to uplift each other and like help each other through this time mm -hmm. and even it's it's not even just a u.s thing it's a world thing yeah it, so we're all coming together as one for the first time and i don't even know how long i mean my first time in my entire life that the world has come together to actually uplift each other and you right. know when there's god be that there will be a financial abundance that comes into my life like i know i'm gonna share that with the world. i think what you said is really important because for a long time when i was first getting into all this work many years ago when i heard the word abundance i thought finances because i think that's what we've all been conditioned usually throughout our life you know like right. abundance mm -hmm. it's so, so i'm glad that you said that because for me too i was like oh first thing that came was like money but that was like love energy freedom, the ability to do the things and have the things like ease, ease, having the ability to say no to things or yes to things. I have the ability to say, gosh, I had a delicious meal because I was able to, to you know what I mean? With my family yeah. and people I love, like afford it. that attract, yeah. yeah, afford it. And, and, or it was gifted to me. It's interesting. Um, mm -hmm. one of the first days someone bought me a coffee. I was out with a colleague of mine back when we could do that. Remember those days, BC. <laughs> <laughs> Um, BC before Corona. That's amazing. <laughs> it was all due like respect, it. right? And it, yeah. At the same time, it was um it was hey, interesting. So I was like, oh my god, that was what a letters coffee. you're throwing out right now. No, I know, I love it. <laughs> well, it was before bef well, I did I mean before, before it was like I got there was like, oh so I got a, no, I got a coffee. Someone gave me, you know, um I gave me a coffee and then I was like, I'm having a great conversation. It was like 20 minutes later. I was like, I had a great experience. And it was, I got extra, I got free coffee. I had a great conversation with a colleague and they bought it for me. And then guess what? Next time I went there, I bought someone else. It was like, and that, that effect, the effect of giving and receiving the effect of like being able to like honor that it feels good, whether it be like someone gives you, you know, a meal or like get, lets you borrow something of yours. Like, and then you take that on too and do the same, that's the stuff that I was like, this is, I love it because I started to really be more mindful of how much, how much it was a, um, an effect of us all being part of it. You know what I mean? Like you, when someone would respond on the, our text chain too, it'd be like, oh, they did it, shoot, I'm gonna do it too. But it felt good to be able to honor that too because it was like this collective energy and in everyday interactions too, you know? Yeah. Right, absolutely. I think, um, you know, the takeaway from all of it was just like a, a different mindset. And then my other yeah. thing that I've noticed as well is like, just during this time, those reminders, I don't know about you guys, but now I'm con we're constantly reminded because you don't have as much mm -hmm. distraction. So it is those moments where like, just this a simple thing shall like pass. water. Right. Yeah. That was that, that was a great one from the, this too shall pass my has favorite. been embedded in my mind. Yeah. This, that, uh, I don't know if I told you, but this was actually the second time I've done this challenge. When you gave oh, really? it to me, yeah. I had just finished it like a few weeks before. But wow. even the second time around was like, it was, it, it was, it was different. It was much, much more different for me. The first time I had to like release a lot of the mm -hmm. things that I didn't realize that, you know, like the first few days of releasing. Yeah. 
Right. I'm like, wow, this is actually going to take longer than 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah, I know. Me too. I was like, oh my gosh, it's taking These I know, damn 50 longer, people. But it, <laughs> I know it says like, it'll only take yeah. 15 minutes. You're like, no, not really. But you know, but then it's those things where you were, you're reminded, you're like, man, how is it that we've gotten to a space in time society? And we've talked about this with um, previously, but so many people are like, focused on getting their money back like they're like I have to work I have to work right now I just have to I've got to go find work and I'm like but you could there's use this no, time nothing to is open. Think, there's nothing open right there's except a grocery store and like pharmacy what you know? are you going to work like, work on right. you so, work on the master plan so Sharon you you actually did a a 42 day abundance challenge then huh Spirit was like, no, you got to get done. right She's back in here. Time two. <laughs> <laughs> you get no time off. Go back in and let's start over. Yeah, and somebody cool. in the midst of what we were doing was trying to resend it to me. And I was like, hold up. Uh, man, no. So I would have had to do like not. double time. So <laughs> yeah, 63. I was like, 63. But, but, but you know me. I am the type of person that will just take the challenge. I will double work, triple work, hard working. I yeah, will yeah. do it if I need to. It'd be 20, but 21 I, when she's finished I, with her challenge. <laughs> yeah. For like a, a beautiful model but, is so rich and it's so big in abundance. We don't know what to do with her. She's breaking national records. But, <laughs> but I decided like within myself, because that's, I feel like that's also an abundance thing is realizing when, when to have enough. Yes. Does that make sense? When Am you're I like, making yeah, sense? Totally, totally. Yeah. Because you don't need I I was like, okay, well, this is here. Do I take it again? Is this like the universe, God, my spirit, ancestors, everyone telling me, no girl, you gotta go through this all over again while I'm in the middle of, you know, doing ours. Mm -hmm. But after like meditation i just literally was like no i have the ability to say no the power, and that has the power been of saying no too. like my like my abundance yep. of saying no has been so little like i have not told anyone really like if somebody asks something of me you know if it if i can do it i will do it because i give so much abundance i feel like my abundance of myself to it, others where i don't do the abundance for myself to say no and then but yeah, like you. no yeah, is enough and then that would help you be more abundant yeah for other people like, if we don't because we can't take on the energies of all the other exactly. stuff sometimes too like right, i just say right. no to some for some a lot of things and it feels uncomfortable well at the same time it's like how much more i was rewarded energetically maybe financially maybe also like I mean, my health like it was right. it made sense it was when i was ready to listen absolutely. and i right absolutely but abundance it, and health yeah. i mean that's something too it's, that we don't even like think about usually when it comes absolutely. up but lately it's been like whoa i can breathe i can walk yeah. i'm feeling like i'm okay yeah being able to yeah. say no to like be from a person that always says yes like to be able that's to say no and like it's a challenge mm -hmm. and you realize, you know, P, you know, because we talk all the time. So I, my growth in being able to speak my actual truths without getting frustrated has grown a lot within myself, within the, the, like these past two challenges, because I'm able to like speak my truths without it being um, like where I'm not feeling like frustrated because I'm capable of saying no now. I'm capable of saying, oh, no, place. hold on. From a good place, like place of love. no is no love. longer no is no longer a bad thing for me. No is actually right, can right, be right. a positive yeah. thing, and where I can take no as a positive now, and I can also say no, that doesn't feel right to me. This is actually how I feel, and it not being from an aggressive state. So it actually has helped me grow as an individual person a lot and it's been actually a fun journey kind of because i don't know if the other person would say it's been a fun journey because they're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like you just because they're so used to yeah they're but so the used important to the importance of it all is to be able to have a, a relationship with yourself uh, mm -hmm. self recognition by means of like you said um being able to say no without mm -hmm. feeling bad about it 
uh, for example, all of us coming together at a time like this where the world is going through the same thing, but yet we choose, even though we're part of this world, we choose to take ourselves out of it at this moment uh, and think about other people and by means of things like raising a relief mm-hmm. uh, donation mm-hmm. fund for people who maybe don't have right. and and is not as fortunate as we are. So that alone itself takes time and energy. And so I want to ask you all, how, how do you feel about that? Because like I said, we're a part of this world and we're all going through the same thing, but we've collectively come together and decided mm-hmm. that this is the thing to do. How do you feel personal, like, for your own personal self and your doing and being a part of this? I feel like a good vibration. <laughs> you got the good vibration. Yeah. Good vibration. I feel you're like... Ready to dance. I do it every time. <laughs> yeah, like, I feel like dance this party. is a, more so a time to be able to truly speak our truth like not just within each other and we've been i feel like all four of us have been kind of talking um you know through this abundance challenge and really getting to know each other and just being like and everything was more so how can we shed our light to the world that we can reach around us how can we give back to others um without taking and just giving to them because they they deserve You know, they deserve to not feel the way that they're feeling. And it's rewarding. And it like to not accept, like not to, doing it because it's not, it's, well, actually, let me take that back. Because it's both beneficial to them and to us because it's satisfying to us to be able to help others along their journey by giving them the proper tools and mental tools to be able to go about their day-to-day lives like being more mindful and bringing that mindful awareness is very rewarding and I feel like us doing this we're integrating my world your guys's worlds that you can reach around each other and then bringing them closer to each other and how many people do you guys know that I don't know and how many people do you know do they know that we don't know so we're just creating a very powerful new world for us Mm -hmm. at least the world around us i'm not saying for the entire world but for at least us and that's beautiful and i'm really honored to be walking that journey with you guys this preparation absolutely because when it is all over we all are going to walk into a new world literally so i'm gonna be listening but i'm just gonna put my mic on hold and um put the camera like this and put the baby to sleep while you guys are filming. Is that cool? No, that's really fine. Okay, go. Go for it. I'll put you on mute right now. So go ahead, Prana. You were saying? Prana? Yes. You were saying? Oh, what I was saying was, um, the fact of the matter is, when this is all over this, uh, the quarantine we're all going to walk into a new world different perceptions mm-hmm. uh, a new reality for everybody because it's a life it's life changing for everybody no matter who you are mm-hmm. so it's like even though you're not sleep it's like waking up and you know when you wake up you, you stretch and you get ready for something new that that's what it's going to be like for all of us oh so mm-hmm. you can stay out past this time again oh the stores mm-hmm. or whatever the case may be or not sold out of things that before this came into play we didn't think of value as far as i mean everybody's going crazy over toilet paper before hand you would be like okay i get it when i need it now everybody's trying to stock up on it and and you know so it changes the mindset of a person and yeah while we while we're in this quarantine your mindset is being changed rearranged and reset when we get mm-hmm. out of it, the same thing is going to happen again. So it's like you're constantly going through a reset. Yeah. Not only that, while we're in this, we're going through several new moons and full moons. And mm-hmm. every last one of them in themselves require you to reset. So And reflect, right? Yeah, reset and reflect. Absolutely. It is. It's so interesting. And when you're talking about the toilet paper, I bring because it goes back to the... Um, 
first of all, your question about how it feels to be a part of something like this and giving back and giving and receiving. Um, and how the, 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 the difference between that and the people who are hoarding toilet paper or hoarding like Clorox. It's like, you know, if my neighbor is not using Clorox and everyone gets sick, so we might as well share it, you know, share the wealth of the Clorox or whatever. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so interesting because so many people's brains go back into that mentality of lack, lack, lack. And it's like, no one wins when we're like that. No one wins when we're hoarding things. No one wins when we're not giving love, giving, if I've got a little bit extra, they, why not share it, you know? Especially when we're living in these very interesting times. Like, how does it feel to be the last person to take the toilet paper? That would make me feel guilty personally. Probably something right. I work on, but it would also be like, you know, hey, this person needs it too. How can I help? I think that by us doing this and being able to invite others to do similar things, how can they be of service to their communities? How can they be of service to their families? How could they even just reach out to their aunt and say, say hi or you know, send them something if they're not feeling well? It's, it gives us an opportunity to give and receive because that's the way abundance works. And that's the way this, this all works is when you show up and you're giving your best self uh, and I say that you don't have to show up for everybody like back to what Trina was saying you know like there are certain places where you just can't give that much because it takes more from you but you can set boundaries and you can put that energy out there and energy is currency money is currency love 100%. is unfortunately sometimes taking currency right um I think love is everywhere so it's not currency I would edit that from the script but it's it's um, um it's just so fascinating to see how people are. I'm in New York right now, and my goodness, people are really not sharing the love in a lot of ways. But then there are when you look out and people are clapping at seven o'clock every night for all the healthcare workers, when people are donating their extra change for their meals to the healthcare workers or to the, the, um, the it's, we all can give and it doesn't have to be monetarily, I guess is my point. And I hope that people can learn that from us too, giving your time, giving your energy and giving a couple extra dollars to something that's, you know, going to save more lives. It's a collective. I think it's so interesting because LA and New York, because they're such, um, because I've lived in both cities and my experience with them has been um, because it's such a highly populated condensed area and there's so many people, then you do find the, the gems that are hidden there that are incredible and want to help. And then you also find people that are just a little too busy or they're too focused and they don't want to mind your business is sort of the bigger thing, right? Like just leave me alone. I'm in my business. So the other day I went to the grocery store and here they're so in they're they're, you know, super quarantine status, but the line goes all the way outside around the grocery store. So you're just standing in line yeah. with a bunch of people wearing gloves and masks. Mm -hmm. And I walked up and there was this old woman, she was probably 70 years old, 75. And she had, you know, the biggest like hunched over posture. She had a cane. She had her geriatric shoes. She could barely walk. And she's leaning over with her um, mask on, like just against the wall. And she leans up. She asks the girl in front of her if uh, something about the line. I didn't hear the question. And the girl turns around with her mask on. And she's like, you have to wait in line like everyone else. And then turns back around. And I was like, so I watched mm -hmm. for a minute and I just watched this woman lean and no one was saying or doing everyone was just minding their business and so I actually went to the front of the line and I was like excuse me there is um a lady who clearly looks like she's in pain person. and a vulnerable person can we please let her to the front and everyone was like yeah absolutely you know by the time she made her way to the front because she was walking like really slow um I'm pretty sure it might not have made a difference <laughs> but she did get in in time and I just felt like you know, it's those simple things, just something as, as subtle as saying, absolutely, go ahead and noticing the people but that we powerful, can help. Because how many other yeah. people saw that? Right. I mean, well, and it was just, it, it was kind of an asinine thing to me. I was looking at the, the girl in front of her, like, you're young and you have your health. And there's this woman who's clearly by herself. And she, I mean, if anything, my thought was like, why don't I just go in and shop for the woman and tell her to go sit in her car and I'll happily bring her groceries yeah, yeah. to her, you know? Right, no need. Right, right. But again, I mean, you know, I, I, but so yeah, you, you, I think you see, um, but you were called to do that. And how many other people probably got a benefit from that? Sorry, to you. That's, I mean, a, that's a magnetic kind of reaction. Well, you never know. And I think if right, you just right, go with your right, gut absolutely. a lot, like in that way, we could have taken it to our car, but who knows? Like how many people saw that? It's, it's, it's magnetic. Energy is magnetic. It's, it's currency. Right, so. right. 
So mm-hmm. go you. In the end, in absolutely, kudos to you <laughs> for that one. Uh, so in a good vibe way, what would be a message that each one of you would send to everybody who had the opportunity to watch us? What message would you want to personally send to them watching whoever's tuned in? What would you want to hear? Um, what would you want them to hear you say? This too shall pass. <laughs> that's a good one, yeah, man. That's a, that's a good one. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good one. Um, I would say, you know, take, like, um, savor this moment. And again, this too shall pass. But truly, like, savor it in so many ways. This, this pause that we have, whether it's scary or we don't know what's coming, as they say, you know, live in the present and uh, just be here and focus on all of the lovely things that we have in front of us and the ways that it's changing humanity and bringing us together and trust that um, this precious, precious time we've been given. It's like, you know, they say time doesn't exist if we, like when we stop, um, when we stop the, the span of time, we can actually see what's happening in it. But ultimately time is its own force, it's moving. So we wouldn't notice it unless it was like, it's in the quantum physics world. But this is just that like moment in time, it's like everything is freeze frame and you're alive. You get to eat, feel, taste, do. So my takeaway would just be save for the moment because this too shall pass in, in a good way, you know? Right, right. Moment for granted because you don't want to come out of this thinking, um, am I uh, muted? No, you're unmuted. You're good. Okay. Like, don't take this moment for granted because you don't want to come out of this thinking, man, I wish I would have. I wish I would have used my time wisely, or I wish yeah, I would have made like, that change. I wish I would have done this. Yep. I wish I would have been this. What if I did this? I think you it's know, hard, like, though. I, I'm going to throw us. I think it's hard, though. Like, I'm, I've got to be honest. Like, I want to be real here, there's a lot of people facing some really challenging emotions right now and um, mm-hmm. loss, not just loss of their jobs, loss of their li- their, their families' lives. Like I know a lot of people right now yeah. with one degree of separation from this. So I wanna say, be powerful. Um, please take time to be taking care of yourself and put out good energy to the world. I think it's reflective of everything that you guys are saying. Um, this will pass, yes. And right now, if you're feeling your emotions, feel your emotions, this is, not always a time to be productive. Sometimes it's a time to heal those wounds, those traumas from so long ago. Mm-hmm. And they're, it's coming up for a but lot of people. But healing so is productive. Really, it's very productive. Right. And, it, and it, it happens for a lot of people at a different pace. So I would send my love to them. And I would say, you know, show up for this process right now and be present and um, take the power into your own hands. I, I would. I would say, you know, giving is receiving as well as the fact that like be grateful for what we have and show that to other people because we all need that so much right now that gratitude um we need to be spreading it and we need to be able to receive it and that will help you heal for sure i love that prana what's yours beautiful beautiful Uh, i'm going to go back to what i i I pretty much uh kept repeating when the new year came in uh we're in a new decade Mm -hmm. and you made it You've already made it. And what we're going through right now, once again, the quote, this shall pass. But it's a lot of people that's not here to even go through this. So just stay strong, keep your head up. And what was that last part? What's that? What was that? I I didn't hear that last part. (laughs) (laughs) Y'all all talking, I couldn't hear you. So I'm going to retract back in. Say it again. Um, I was saying this a lot in the beginning of the year. We're in a new decade in which a lot of people did not get a chance to experience and are not here. Mm. So you're here. And I want to say you've already made it. Stay strong. And once again, I'm going to repeat the quote, this too shall pass. But you're special. You're here for a reason. And uh, a lot of people can't even experience what they're calling this quarantine and what's happening now because they are not here to experience. So in your most yeah. uh, powerful moment for self, if you can just conjure that up, you know, 
a thought is everything. And if you can think to yourself, whether you're stressing, uh, whether you're full of fear, just know you're here. I love you that. You are here and, and you've made it to this point. So be thankful and don't give up. Uh, well, don't I love up. that. And on that note, um, you know, we want to leave you guys with a challenge that we created together. I know. I know, you little cutie. <laughs> she wants to leave y'all with a like, challenge. Mom, she wants mom I, got, I got plenty of challenges. <laughs> you know how many babies are probably going to come out of this quarantine? A lot Let of babies. Just tell you. They're just it's nonstop bunny pop. <laughs> um, yeah. Depends yeah, on who and, you're quarantined and, with. Well, uh, also, facts. that's also true. <laughs> rules in place for a reason. Um, yes. <laughs> so, as, as a we, matter of fact, I want to make a point uh, before we leave this challenge uh, because I'm <laughs> already on a challenge, actually. So, and what makes me bring it up is the fact that. Uh, Crystal Queen here just said it depends on who you quarantine with. So me and my significant other decided to fast for six months. What? From intimacy. Oh, hold on. I was like, wait, no, 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 a lot of them came true, but six months of not eating. No, no, not that one is I was like, I was. I'm, that's a hard nope for me. <laughs> I am good. I would like to eat something. Okay, so okay, go intimacy. Fasting. Okay. Yeah, fasting from intimacy for six months. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, it's a lot that goes with that. Uh, you you harness your own energy, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, because you exchange energy um, when doing things of that nature and not doing that, you're harnessing your own energy, you are possessing your own aura and frequency, and it also allows you to build yourself up more. So, uh, I, I want to, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to ask Russ about that one. I think you'll be, be like, like no, you I'll are be nuts, woman. <laughs> There's nothing like, to whatever. do. Who said, who, who said, who who said this? Who gave you that? Prana did. Oh, and, you know see, I, don't, I don't know about that. Prana. That's, that's where the confusion comes from, because I'm not giving you that. So, yeah. <laughs> He's talking about the choice he made. That's a choice he made. The challenge accepted. Right, right. I'm joking. Look, look I'm at so her starting stuff all, all <laughs> starting this stuff. Uh, you'll be like, look, to get it you're, you're gonna get a phone call. <laughs> you're about to, you're gonna get a phone call tomorrow. I just make Goodness. myself so busy when he call. <laughs> like, like I called him what seven times. Hold on, hold on. The, the 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 few times he texts you, he's like, all right, man. <laughs> I know that I know that you you're very in tune, but <laughs> this, this, this is too far. Has to be. <laughs> this is too far. <laughs> There's a line, okay, brother. <laughs> but that, uh, no, yeah. but I totally get it. I I really do because I actually when I when I I I've taken personal breaks of my own that he don't even know of, and then he'll like try, but I'm like, you know, wall wall, and it's not it's a wall. It's just I need to focus and fix this first before this could happen and especially after yeah. having a baby i'm like feeling her emotions my emotions my husband's emotions and my son's emotions i think that's something i've, I've vocalized to you kind of before right okay. um and it's like understanding who you are after having like a child and like mm -hmm. and you, you're not the only one that has a child your husband has a child, your partner has a child, like, so you all are experiencing this whole new energy within yourselves that I totally understand why you're doing it, Prana, and that's actually, I put my hat off to you, because that is a very difficult Keep all your challenge. clothes on, keep all and your clothes you, on. Have you <laughs> seen the significant other? Let me tell you, she, Forged. she, she a thing, okay? She's she a, a beauty. beauty. <laughs> Uh, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
well, on that note, I want to um, lead everyone off that joined us today or anyone that's going to be listening to us um, every Monday with our, our broadcast. Oh, we created um, the seven day challenge that will kind of give you guys. And for the next seven days, we're going to participate in this challenge as well. So we'll be doing it with you. And our goal and our hope for you guys is that you, you know, are able to take away from the baby on the show. Let's take some baby <laughs> steps and let's actually like do this together. And um, for any of you that, um, you know, want to participate with us, feel free to video your process, you know, record yourselves and send them to us. You can send it on our website at monument.productions and um, we'll absolutely, well, I'm just going to, um, okay, Sharina, are you there? Hi, baby. I know you're hungry. Oh, hold on, one second. Okay. Jump, jump, jump. Thank you for being patient with me. We are, you know, it's currently her, her bedtime. But I do want to ask it. you guys to send us your videos or photos so that we could share it with you with and uh, in next week's um good vibration meetup. And we want to see your progress. You know, even if you have children, look. This is also possible with children. <laughs> so, if you want to do the chi challenge no, with the child it's, it's, pulling it's... on your hair and whatnot, then please feel free to show us whatever you've got because. <laughs> oh no. She, she just straight up pulled the cord out of her head. Tears. Mm -hmm things that we need to focus on, whatever that is, or where, where you're lacking. So I, I'm just going to start even right now. I feel like what, what am I lacking in focusing on in quarantine? I have been working out, but like not as much as I could. Like I could seriously give myself, you know, a solid at least 15 minutes. And to be honest, I, we did just launch this entire relief, you know, broadcast in five days. So I just want that to be known. I've been like insanely busy trying to get this puppy off the ground, but no excuses. I could, that is where I feel like I'm lacking a little bit. Emily, what about you? Area where you feel like you can put uh, time management. Okay. okay. Uh, and I'm actually going to give myself a little bit of a break there because when you're like all of us, we're holding space to create and holding space for other people. It's like maybe our body needs a little bit of um, rest. Right. Yeah. So, um, definitely been making more time to do my calendar and try and adhere to that which has been helpful actually and it's okay I, prana yeah I agree, I agree for myself time management like rest right because mm -hmm. right now it's like there's more people just around so you're doing things that you might not normally do or you're on the phone way longer or you're discussing because everyone's available <laughs> you know what i mean so right, managing right, that right. new sense of time. Yeah, for sure. Get ready for yourself. Like, how do you show up for yourself every morning? Take some time to focus on you. Work out for yourself. Be kind to your body. Move it around. Movement equals feeling better. Clean your space and declutter. Finding things that bring you joy. Decluttering helps bring more energy and abundance into your life. Meditate and find gratitude. Develop a gratitude practice. Mindful eating, eat to nourish your body. Do something different. Change up your routine. And the last one is pay it forward. Giving is receiving. Mm -hmm. Yes, peace, love, and light. Yes. yes. I like that part. Um, so, Sharina, tell it. You can, share, yeah. Okay, and please share your videos slash pictures with us. Send them to Monument Productions. And we will be featuring them on our next Good Vibration show. So I'm looking forward to seeing all of your fun elevation photos. And yeah. Sharina sure looking like a straight spirit right now. Really? You are. Come to the light. <laughs> Can yeah. we get, um, so you guys, thank you so much for joining us on our very first broadcast uh with the monument productions uh, covid19 uh i'm just gonna do that again thank you guys so much for joining us on our very first covid19 relief broadcast with monument productions um any donations that you guys give 
anything that you'd like to share with us, share the love and we are here to spread it around. You know, it's going to help support the creative community. It'll help support the service industry and of course, give back to our healthcare workers, et cetera. So anything you guys can give makes a world of difference. And we thank you so much for joining in and we'll see you next week on Mondays. <laughs> Stay tuned. Peace, love and light. With that good vibration. <laughs>